In this video, you will learn how to power an LED directly from the Raspberry Pi's 5V rail. You should already understand how to use a breadboard, be familiar with the properties of the GPIO header, and be able to apply Ohm's law to calculate resistance. In order to light an LED, we need to construct a simple circuit. For this example, I will connect the LED to the 5V rail, which will supply current so long as the Raspberry Pi is powered on. The circuit consists of an LED, a resistor, and some connecting wires. The current will flow from the 5 volt rail through the components and then return to ground. The resistor is placed in this circuit to limit the flow of electricity. Without the resistor, we would have an excessively high current which would burn out our LED, and if the LED was connected to a GPIO pin, we could seriously risk damaging the pin. Now a resistor is defined by a value called resistance. If we choose a resistor that has too great of a resistance, our LED will not light. If we choose a resistance that is too low, we risk creating a dangerously high current. And by dangerous, I mean dangerous to the health of your Raspberry Pi. So how do we choose the desired resistance? Well, first we can decide what the voltage drop across the resistor should be. That is, how much of the five volts that we are supplying should be used by the resistor. In this case, I am using a red LED, and I know it has a voltage drop of two volts. That means that there are three volts left over, and these three volts must be used by the resistor. Next, we must consider the current passing through the circuit. Small LEDs usually will light with a current of around 4 milliamps. That means 4 milliamps of current is also passing through the resistor. Now we can use Ohm's law to calculate the resistance for the resistor, which is the voltage divided by the current. When entering numbers into this equation, we must make sure that we are using volts and amps. In this case, I must change my milliamps to amps. There are 1,000 milliamps in 1 amp, so if I divide 4 by 1,000, I get 0.004 amps. Now I can calculate the resistance, which is equal to 750 ohms. So we need a resistor that is close to 750 ohms. As LEDs typically function well up to 20 milliamps, a resistor with a slightly lower resistance should still work just fine. Now that we know which components to use and to which pins on the Raspberry Pi, we can set up the circuit on a breadboard. I've attached the 5 volt rail from the Raspberry Pi to the positive rail on the breadboard and ground to the negative or ground rail on the breadboard. For the LED, make sure that its two pins are connected to two separate rows. Also, one common error is to place the LED backwards. The LED has a long flat section that looks like a negative symbol and this side needs to lead towards negative or ground. The LED is connected to the resistor as it shares a common row. Here I am using a 680 ohm resistor, as they are a little easier to find and will still keep the current low enough. Let's take a final look at this circuit to see if everything is correct. Current flows from positive 5 volts into the LED, then into the resistor, and then back to ground. All that's left now to do is give it a try. I've got my Raspberry Pi attached to this battery pack, so all I need to do is flip the switch and the Raspberry Pi and LED simultaneously light. Our next challenge is to turn on and off an LED, not with a switch, but with a GPIO pin, but that will be for another video.